More questions than answers about Erie's first confirmed COVID case and how mistakes let that patient out into the population for days. Samir Nefsi joins us now from the newsroom with more. Samir. Yeah, Joe, that's right. Mark Gusick has worked with the elderly population here in Erie County for years, and he's saying there needs to be more disclosed from the county executive's office and the health department regarding that first case of COVID-19. Now we know the coronavirus is in Erie County, and uh, it, it would just be kind of nice to know a little bit more about well, where is it and how some of us can help that are helping the elderly. Mark Gusick of Life Northwestern Pennsylvania adding the looseness of how the first case was handled contributed to the peak in interest of knowing more about patient zero. County Executive Kathy Dahl Kemper saying that's not what the focus needs to be on right now. I cannot implore the people of this community enough stop worrying about the case that we already have. Worry about yourself, wash your hands, stay away from people, and do your part to help us stop the spread of this. Gusick saying he believes the county is still doing the best it can to get ahead of this pandemic. I think Ms. Lyon is, is doing a nice job in getting some information out to everybody and trying to keep control of, uh, of what's a very difficult situation. County Executive Dahl Kemper saying that she spoke with reps from Eastern counties in the Commonwealth and they believe that Erie County has a fighting chance to keep the spread as minimal as possible. This is our opportunity, Erie, to do our part for our fellow citizens. This is our opportunity to show that we can do this collectively together and we can beat this thing. Dahl Kemper saying as of right now, there is still a major issue with people not taking social distancing serious enough. Adding the super spreaders like teenagers, 20 and 30 year olds, should heed the county's suggestion. 40% of the people hospitalized in this nation right now are between the ages of 20 and 54. So don't think that you can't get this and become very sick, even if you're younger. Dahl Kemper adding that the county is being as transparent as they can regarding that first case of COVID-19, saying that anyone who came into contact with that 35-year-old has already been contacted and tested for the COVID-19. Joe? Okay, Samir, thank you.